Y'all, we look crazy right now. We are attempting 90s blowout curls today. I followed my friend Shay's tutorial, which seems so easy, but there is just something about me and rollers that just don't get along. Like my hands just like don't work that way. I texted her and she said to leave them in as long as possible. So that's what we're doing. And then I have this video to film today. So we're just gonna go with it. I hope they end up looking good. If they don't, it's definitely my fault. It's not her fault because her tutorial is fire. I am just <laughs> challenged. Okay, let's get into this little no foundation lightweight makeup tutorial. I filmed a little mini version of this for Reels and TikTok a few weeks ago, but I always like to do a fuller version, like a long version for you guys over here on YouTube, just to explain everything a little bit better, actually be able to talk you guys through it because you have to like make everything so compact on those apps. So we're gonna do it step by step. This is gonna be good for summer makeup, for laying by the pool, if you just really don't like foundation. Starting, of course, with the Tatcha Water Cream. If you guys have been here a while, you know I'm obsessed with this stuff. It does run about $69, but it does last me, I would say maybe like two months. So in my opinion, it's worth it. And a little does go a long way. So you really can make it last as long as you want. I've been wearing a lot less makeup lately. Um, and just doing my makeup a lot less and I feel like I'm gonna make this last quite a while it comes with this cutie little spatula and I'm just going to take a scoop and we are going to put it on our face I feel like one scoop is just enough I have already done all my skincare I did it this morning after I showered but this is just gonna be a little skin prep to re-moisturize the face and get it ready for makeup things are just like bobbing around as I'm rubbing all in my face i didn't really think this through now we're gonna go in with the tula rose glow and get it what is happening my dog is like laying under here so it's like shaking up my camera a little bit suggesting her's taking a nap the really cool collector's edition it's like chrome but they have this in a blue which is like a cooler tone and then this pink i used the blue for a while i decided to switch to the pink since they sent me this one and this is just going to help illuminate under the eyes. It also has caffeine in it, so it's just going to wake them up and make them a little less puffy. And then I just dab it in like so. It has a super nice cooling effect, which I also love. It just feels so good on my skin. Time for the primer. We're going to do the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is the dupe for the Milk Makeup. And I honestly like it a lot better for my oily skin. I feel like it doesn't make me... As greasy throughout the day I just do two pumps and then I'm just going to apply it I'm gonna do here in my t-zone first where I need it the most and then I'll rub it in everywhere else Stanley break mm. okay, so while this primer is like stickifying and really setting into the skin I'm gonna go in with some NARS primer this is the Chantilly light one i'm pretty sure this is the lightest shade i need to get a darker shade for when i'm tan um but this is the nars compact concealer it's the matte finish this is what it looks like i've had this for well over a year and it just lasts forever and this is just a flat eyeshadow brush that i found and i use it to just kind of apply i'm gonna be looking into the mirror but I just lightly put it on any red spots or blemishes since I'm not going to be using foundation today. This is going to be like my extra coverage. I had a big under the skin pimple here last week that I got from trying out a new sunscreen and then like sweating in it when I went and ran. Um, so I will not be using that sunscreen anymore, but I did buy a new one. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that. And I used it today for the first time, so wish me luck. I'm just kind of using this to cover up any redness or spots that I have. And as you see, I'm just like dabbing it on there. We're not going to rub it in and like smear it. So this is the Ilia Complexion Brush and I have grown to absolutely love this brush. I'm going to use this to kind of tap in this concealer. I'm not going to rub. I'm just going to tap to try and keep it in place. And then we'll go in with um, some blush and all of those things.
I honestly feel like I am gonna be like in an 80s music video or something with my hair like this. As you can see, it kind of just makes all the red spots disappear by tapping it in that way. Like, boom, she's gone. I love this stuff. I really need to get a darker shade and I keep saying that and I should have bought some in the Sephora sale. Like, what was I thinking? We're gonna do the brows really quick and I use the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. This is just the clear gel. I'm gonna use this random little spoolie I have to just brush them up really quick. I don't know where I got this. I think I got it in like a bag of samples from somewhere. And it has come in so handy. So this actually has two sides to it. It's like a longer brush side at the top and then short, more condensed brushes at the bottom. So I go in with the longer brushes first to kind of brush up and shape. And then I'll go in with the more compact brushes to really set and I'll push down a little harder then. We're just shaping the brow right now. Grab some hair and then I'm gonna flip it over and actually press just a little bit firmer to really set the brow. Like that. Okay, we're gonna let those dry and then I'm gonna go in with this um, Pixie by Petra. This is the Correction Brightening Peach Concentrate. It's kind of like a matte little putty like that concealer but this is going to go under my eyes just to help correct my dark circles i have had this so long i don't even know if they sell it anymore if they do i will definitely link it below and this is just another um eyeshadow brush that i'm using for this it's just a different one and you don't need a lot you're just gonna and then kind of just pat it we're patting and we're not swiping just like we did with the other concealer. Oh my God, my stomach just growled so loud. I wonder if you guys heard that. Your girl is hungry. So it's gonna look like that. And I'm gonna use this again to just put it in place where it needs to go. You wanna look up so there's no creases. You see it just corrects that dark circle under there. We pay a lot of attention to the eyes. I just have like the worst dark circles, I feel like. I know that to some it may not look bad, but it's like, you know when you notice that one thing on your face or about yourself that you just really try to correct? Okay, so that's done now. God, my stomach is growling! I just ordered Jersey Mike's DoorDash, you guys. Like, I could not take it any longer. So now that all those concealers are set, I'm going to go in with some liquid blush. This is my Say Beauty um, Dew Blush in Rosie. I have had this forever. I love this blush, you guys. Another good blush that I like, actually, that I've been using a lot, too, is... You guys know I love dibs, but um, I recently got 1.5, which is more of a cooler tone. And let me show you. So it actually is kind of similar to this. It's just a cream versus a liquid. And for this tutorial, I really just like using the liquid better. But I really, really like the new 1.5 in the dibs. So this actually goes a long way. So we are just going to do one, one little one on the nose, one on the cheek, one, two, and one. Who is calling me? So this is what it looks like right now. It looks so funny. I'm putting it here and on my nose because I really want a sun-kissed look. And then I'm going to use this Real Techniques oval brush to blend it in. I'm going to do the little spots first so that we don't have like too much on there. 
always start with a little and then you can add more so now we have like a little sun-kissed nose moment and rub it in up here this is another brush that I just randomly found in my collection and then I'll go in on the cheeks I like to kind of smile make sure I'm getting good on the apples I feel like this rosy color just honestly is the perfect color. It has a little peachy tint to it, a little pinky, a little red. And then I am going to kind of bring it up right here a little bit. I'm not going to use any cream bronzer for this tutorial, but we will use some powdered. Blush is on. We're going to go in with the NYX Serum Concealer. This is like a crucial ingredient to this makeup tutorial because since we're not using foundation, this is a super lightweight, easy, blendable concealer that I am just going to put everywhere else that I did not put foundation or blush. I'm just going to do two pumps on my hand. I'm going to use a damp beauty blender to place everything. You're going to place it here like you normally would concealer. I'm gonna place it here, make like a little T. So literally just everywhere I did not put blush. We're gonna be back with this complexion brush by Ilya and we're just gonna start blending this out. I am going to blend it down into the neck a little bit just to make sure it's not like a harsh line or anything. I'm letting it under the eyes sit the longest. Going around the brow to make sure I'm not getting in it since I applied that gel already. And I am going to go under the brow too. Just to color correct. Okay, now we'll go in. I'm going to tap to really keep the concealer in place where it's at. I just love this concealer, you guys. Like, this is the best drugstore concealer, in my opinion. If you want, like, I feel like it provides really good coverage, but also is super lightweight. Like, I love that it's a serum. I'm going to bring this up to kind of try and lift that eye bring it down all the places we did not apply any blush but now it kind of looks like we have foundation on but we don't this little dude is trying to come out and we are not going to let it there we go highly recommend this brush by the way it has come in handy so many times and I feel like it blends everything so beautifully. Okay, so now we are going to start setting I'm using the Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana, Pow Banana Powder. I'm just going to tap some into the lid. And then this is a Real Techniques brush. I don't know the name of it. It's all worn off, but it's kind of dense, but also fluffy. I'm just going to tap some in here. And we're going to lightly start setting under the eyes first because I feel like those get greasy the quickest. I'm gonna look up and just lightly pat. We're really just trying to mattify it right now and then we'll do baking later. I learned this trick on TikTok actually. I think it was, I don't remember who the makeup artist was, but they were like, conceal, mattify, then set, AKA bake. And that makes your concealer last longest. So we're gonna do it everywhere, especially in this T-zone where I get oily. 
and I really do feel like it has made a difference. Instead of just going right in with baking, you're really just mattifying and smoothing it out. We're gonna save that for later because we're gonna use it again. And now we're just gonna go in with some bronzer and blush. Bronzer, we're using my tried and true Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade Light Bronzer. And then we're just using this angled brush that I found. Tapping lightly. And we're gonna go in under where we put the blush, like kind of where you would normally contour. We're just gonna tap lightly. This is just to add a little color to the face. I didn't want to do like a full contour moment since we are going for like a lightweight summer makeup look. So we're just gonna add some color. You can do little circles if you want. Lightly on the jawline. Bring it down to the neck because we don't want harsh lines. And then I'll put it just in the corners right here. I am going to go ahead and contour my nose because I just can't live without it. I'm just going to use a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And we're just going to go down side of my nose on each side and I'm going to bring it just slightly into that brow bone. See it just shapes out the nose a little bit and then if you want you can add some to the eye as well just for a little color. Okay, now we will do some blush. Okay, for blush, we're gonna do Milani. This is the color Romantic Rose in the Rose Blush. It's kind of like shaped like a rose, or it was when I bought it. I've had this forever. It's just like a good muted blush, and um, it matches this one just like really well. I feel like they complement each other really, really well. It's really warm, really like it a lot. This is just another brush that I have laying around. This is actually very pigmented, so you don't want too much. I'm going to start on the apples and like work my way up. Just right on top of where I place the blush. The Say blush. Let my camera focus a little bit. Like, look how beautiful that is. It just complements everything so well. I like to bring it up into the side of my face just to warm everything. I literally cannot handle this hair right now, you guys. <laughs> what is it doing? It's trying to fall out. I wonder if I can clip it that way. I don't know. We're almost done. I'm just gonna do a little on the nose here where I put those two little dots oh no ma'am and then on the chin okay I just love blush like I feel like blush is everything okay before I do anything else I am gonna add some of this uh, grande pout plumping lip mask to my lips it's kind of a little exfoliating plumping moment but I do this after I do like the majority of my powders just so powder doesn't get on my lips too. Just gonna put that on there. And this is really good about plumping your lips and making them super super soft before you put on any lip color. I've had this forever. I've probably had it for two years. 
and I bought it at a Sephora sale probably like 2021. Love it. it. Tingles a little bit. Okay, I told you guys to save the banana powder, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. And then we're gonna go in with our little puffer, makeup puff, and tap in here. Tap a roo. And then we're gonna tap on our hand to get any clumps out. Call the and then we're gonna look up and bake. And brighten. If you have neutral undertones, banana powder is the powder for you. Any other powder is just too white for me. I love that this has that yellowy neutral tint to it. For here, I'm just gonna really make sure everything. is setting honestly this stuff is so good for being drugstore I have yet to find you know like a more expensive one that I like more if it ain't broke don't fix it that's my motto I can't deal with this hair y'all I'm so ready to take it down okay while this is setting we're just gonna fill in the brows a little bit um, this is the precisely my brow pencil also from benefit and I'm just gonna get this little mirror that I have right here so I can get up close and personal. We're just gonna do light brush strokes and then it has a spoolie on one end too so you can um, blend everything out. We're not pushing down firmly at all. I'm just going in really lightly, filling in any gaps. See, it just looks a little bit more defined, a little bit more filled in. And then we'll just lightly brush up. I'm really not pushing hard at all. Just making sure there's no harsh lines. I'm just gonna use this really fat kabuki brush to blend out all this bake that we did. I don't let it sit there too long. I'm just making sure to kind of like a blend of tap and swipe. Oh, okay. Lordy. All right, to add some glow back to the skin, I'm going to use the Say Star Glow. I've been using this forever. I'm just a huge fan of Say. I actually recently just purchased their tinted sunscreen that I'm really excited to use. It just came in. I got it in the Sephora so I haven't even unboxed it yet, but I'm really, really excited to use it. So we're gonna just take it, do a couple pumps, like a pump and a half, and then we're gonna use the damp beauty blender that we used earlier and kind of blend it into our hand. And then start here and lightly tap it up to just add some highlight back to the face and then I'll do a little spot under the brow bone you can see the highlight that it adds you don't want to swipe because you're putting a liquid on top of powder so you don't want to take your makeup off you just want to tap it right on top and then I'll put some on the nose look at that glow guys oh my god and then I'll put some just right on the top of the lip Done in. And then just wipe the rest off. I keep a little towel right here while I do my makeup. I cannot have like dirty fingers. So if you notice me like touching this down here, it's because I'm wiping my fingers off every time I'm done touching something. All right, now we're ready to set everything and then we'll do mascara. My personal favorite is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. I'm an oily gal. And this stuff works the best, in my opinion. Let's get this hair out of the way. Lord. Let's do like a little circle. Two circles. It's just going to blend everything together. Melt it all together. So it's not so powdery. 
fan it out. I really need to get one of those hand fans and I say it every single time. You see how it just melts it all together. I look really pale on this camera right now. I'll show you all everything in front of the window and some natural light in a minute. I'm for mascara and I think I'm going to go ahead and use Slash Primer today just to get the full look. We are going to dinner tonight with friends so this is going to be my makeup like all day. Just going to curl my lashes. Uh, I think I got this curler like in a checkout line at like Macy's or Marshall's or something. Lash primer is the Lancome Sills X Booster. Huge fan of this stuff. I have like the world's shortest lashes. I actually just started using some lash serum recently, but I'm just like not very consistent with it. But this just makes them a little bit longer and have a little bit more volume. You definitely don't need it. I just love it. I know y'all can't tell, but I can tell. Y'all have like a good, you know, you have like a good brow and a bad brow or like a not so good brow and then you have like good lashes. Like this, this, I think it's cause my, the way my hand works, like this side, I never really like how my lashes turn out. They just don't turn out as good as my right side. But then, but then like this eyebrow is better than this eyebrow in my opinion, but these lashes are better than these lashes. So at least we have balance, you know? Life's all about balance. I let these dry a little bit to where the white's kind of like almost gone. You don't want it too dry. I'm gonna go in with the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara, the best mascara in the entire world in my opinion. So has two sides to the wand. I use the curved side first and then I'll go in with the straight side. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. That's just the way I do it. I feel like the straight side is like finishing touch like it adds the l the last like amount of volume you need and this curved side just really goes in separates the lashes applies the product like i just love it so much i love that it's not thick and clumpy it just is smooth i just flip it over I'll go in with a little more pressure. And I'm not like a 2-3 coat girly, like this is all I'm going to apply. I may go in a little bit and separate them if I see something clumped up, but I'm like a one and done. just love this mascara i love it oh i'm so excited for my jersey mics you guys what is your favorite jersey mics order because i get the same thing every single time i get the number 26 chicken bacon ranch and lately i've been telling them no tomatoes because the tomatoes just haven't been it for me lately on like any sandwiches i don't know why i used to love tomatoes on my sandwich and all my burgers, but I just haven't been loving them lately. And then it comes with lettuce too. So I'll tell them to do light lettuce because sometimes I just get a little crazy with it. But it is so good. Like, oh my God, I love Jersey Mike's. It looks so good. And then for bottom, I use the, why is there a glare? This mirror. Um, Maybelline Lash Discovery. It's just an itty bitty little wand. And I feel like it's just really the best um, brush for, whoa, upside down. 
for bottom lashes so you don't get any smears or anything, you know? It's just perfect. Okay! Makeup is done. We need to do lips still, but this is what she's looking like. Super light, super natural. This honestly takes me like 10 minutes if I'm not sitting here talking to you guys. Um, for lips, I'm just gonna wipe this stuff off and then we'll do a super natural lip. I have a few lip combos that I like to do in the summer, but I think I'm just gonna show you guys like my go-to. Um, the liner is generally always the Maybelline color sensational nude whisper number 105 i have that memorized i've been buying this for years and it's just like a really good natural nude color for me super smooth it's a twist so you don't have to sharpen it and i actually i'm gonna apply it all over so you see it's on the bottom just looks so good and then I have a really deep peak right here so I'm just gonna go across it and kind of like make it disappear I don't overline really too much it's kind of shape there's the liner and then for gloss on top, I'm going to do NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Another favorite of mine is to use the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Primrose. I have a couple other colors too, but this is the lightest one and this is the plumping one as well. But this is my favorite for like a natural, a natural color. So super good gloss. The NYX Butter Glosses are elite, honestly. Really nice natural pink. And then I'm gonna go eat a sandwich. <laughs> It'll probably all come off. This is a lip color. Super cute and natural. Let me take this camera off the thing and I'll bring you over to the window so you can see everything in the natural light. But this is my natural, no foundation summer makeup. Okay, it's actually a bit gloomy outside, so I don't know how much better this is gonna be. But this is what everything looks like in the natural light. I love the glow that the Say Beauty gives. It just looks so natural, super lightweight. I'm a big fan. I've been doing this for a couple months now. I just randomly one day was like, I'm not going to use foundation. I'm just going to use concealer instead. And I've just been loving it. So I'm about to take these rollers out. And we're going to see how my hair looks because why not just do it together? Draw in front of so I can see myself in this mirror. I'm going to slowly take these out. I'll fast forward it for you guys so you don't have to sit here with me forever. First one's out. Not bad. I don't know if I should start here. I don't know. I'm just going to go with it. Something this way. Okay. This is looking really good so far. I'm excited.
This looks so good. Oh my gosh. I am so excited right now. Like this may be the new way I style my hair. Okay, moment of truth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get a little knot. Look at all this volume. I don't want to use like a brush and brush it out, but guys, look at this. Oh, I never hairsprayed it. Oh my God. I wonder if that would have made a difference. I guess I can hairspray it now. See, I failed with that, but I mean, look at that volume. I am shocked right now. Okay, I'm gonna hairspray it so it doesn't go anywhere. The Color Wow Cult Favorite, Firm and Flexible. This has honestly been my favorite. I bought this three weeks ago, big fan. I cannot believe my hair right now. Goodbye. Goodbye. This is amazing. Okay, Shay, my girl. I will tag her below. I'll actually link the video that I copied. The only thing I didn't do is I forgot to hairspray it like while the curlers were in. Let me show y'all the back. I haven't even looked at the back. Does it look good? I feel like it looks really good. Oh my god. Shay, you're a freaking genius. Okay guys, I'm so excited. Okay, moved y'all back over here into better light. What do we think? Oh my god, I'm so pumped. Okay. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you loved it. If you want to see a tutorial on how I did this, let me know. Um, if not, I will link Shay's video below, which is what I basically copied. Um, we are a big fan. I'm going to go eat my Jersey Mike's now because I am so hungry. And I will see you on the next video.